2014 WWE put on their 30th annual WrestleMania event. This particular year took place in New Orleans, Louisiana. In recent years, the show had become a pretty big deal, with WWE and other promotions putting on events all over the city throughout the weekend. Marketing teams and buyers for retail stores and brands attend events like these just to get a gauge on what sells and to whom. Hot Topics marketing team was there, as they likely had been every year as they sell WWE merchandise at their stores, and were scoping the crowds for what might be the next hot ticket item to carry in their shops. In meeting with WWE executives, the Hot Topic team were presented with a suite of merchandise based on WWE wrestlers. Confused, the Hot Topic team asked, Where's the Bullet Club t-shirt? We've been seeing them all over the place. As it turns out, the Bullet Club wasn't at all associated with WWE and were a product of a wrestling company on the other side of the world, a wrestling company that was quickly becoming popular in the United States. New Japan Pro Wrestling was founded by Antonio Inoki in 1972 and has been a major contributor to pro wrestling in Japan ever since. You might be surprised to know that American wrestling stars like Hulk Hogan were major stars there as well. In the early 2000s, New Japan would begin to emerge as the prominent wrestling company in Japan and a viable alternative for wrestling fans looking for something different. What's so different? New Japan puts an emphasis on athleticism, the action is hard hitting, and there's not a lot of talking, so a non-Japanese speaker should have no problem getting into the action. So where's the action figures? Well, there hasn't really ever been an action figure line based on the New Japan Pro Wrestling wrestlers available in the US until now. Way back in 2019, Super 7 announced that they would produce action figures based on the New Japan Pro Wrestling license. Four figures were announced. These are high quality figures that come in beautiful collector's packaging. Giving a look at these figures for the first time, you know they are something special. I got all four of these and I can't wait to get them open. So let's take a look at New Japan Pro Wrestling figures by Super 7. All right, so from 2021, the King of Sports, New Japan Pro Wrestling uh, figures by Super 7 uh, Ultimates, as it says on the top of the box here. The first thing that you're going to notice is the beautiful, beautiful packaging that Super 7 put together. Um, I'm not saying that you're not going to pay for it, um, but... God damn it, this packaging is super impressive. Um, at first, uh, all of these are packed in um, a protective uh, cardstock, not cardstock, uh, raw cardboard uh, boxes with the, with the emblem on it and uh, the name of, of the figure. Um, and then inside that box, these are wrapped in plastic. And then you have these, uh, these slip cases with the names of uh, said wrestlers in there and who is therein. They are identical to one another. They have the New Japan logo emblazoned on the front in a nice foil, uh, uh, you know, a foil uh, imprint there. It's embossed on the front, I should say. Um, it says ages 14 and up, Super 7 logo. But other than that, it's very minimalistic, very nice. Uh, it says New Japan Pro Wrestling King of Sports uh, right there on the back. Um, and that's pretty much it. it, says contents. One figure with accessories, and we are going to find out what they look like on the inside here. Um, let's first take a look at Tomohiro Ishii. Okay, so you'll notice now as I'm sliding off this, uh, this slip color cover, which is very nice, um, we have some very nice packaging on the inside. We have uh, the name, uh, Tomohiro Ishii. We have the figure clearly displayed. We have some nice ring ropes that are uh, our, our cardstock or whatever printed on cardstock um, that is part of the packaging. And then we have a head. We have extra hands. Looks like he has a lot of extra hands. So he comes with a, uh, a steel chair and accessory. And he has a fabric t-shirt on from what we can see. And the never open weight championship belt around his waist um I believe at the time that this was uh, this figure was made he was 
the never open weight uh, heavyweight champion or open weight champion, whatever you want to call it. Um, cool looking uh, championship belt from the outside here. Nice looking design. Um, got two different heads. We have uh, Ishii with his eyes closed and Ishii with his eyes um, fixed on you. Um, very cool. We got pointing hands, grabbing hands, chopping hands, l lots of hands um, involved here. Also, he's got a couple fists on him as well for punching and throwing them bows. Um, as we turn the package around here, um, we have his, uh, his bio. Um, I imagine this is his name here across the top in, in Japanese. Uh, and then it says Tomohiro Ishii. Uh, he is, uh, his height is 5 foot 6 inches, weight 220 pounds from Kanagawa, Japan. And his finisher is the vertical brain buster um, and a cool picture of, uh, of Ishii right there. Um, the, uh, the, the words, the labels, the, the logos, the stuff on this, it, the, they are gloss while the rest of it is matte. So it gives it a really nice look. We have the cerulean uh, ring mat underneath here. So it kind of looks like the New Japan Pro Wrestling ring. Um, so let's take a look at who we got next. And here is Will Ospreay um, in his uh, awesome uh, Union Jack uh, themed gear, or at least entrance gear that he has. He has the uh, the, the Junior uh, Tournament Cup uh, with him, another head, and his sword that he has in his entrance. Um, lots of hands, lots of uh, little accessories these things come with. They're very, very nice um, from the outside of the box here. So far, not bad. Very, very cool looking figures. We haven't opened them up yet. We don't know exactly what to expect on the inside. But let's turn the box around and we'll see. Like these are all pretty identical with the exception of we have the name uh, in Japanese here and the uh, the different bios for every single guy on the package. So Will Ospreay is uh, six foot one inches, 190 pounds from Essex, England. Finisher the Oz Cutter and he even has his Twitter handle on there. So if you want to check out Will Ospreay on Twitter, you can. Um, and so, and again, a New Japan logo, everything nice and glossy on the matte background. Very, very cool. All right, and here is the once in a lifetime uh, uh, you know, wrestler right here. It is Hiroshi Tanahashi um, in his awesome uh, gear, the black and white and silver gear. Um, you got the, the high detail on the knee pads there, high fly flow. Uh, Ace Tanahashi, he is the ace. His jacket looks fucking cool. Um, I can't wait to get this thing open and see the rest of it. Um, all around the back side here, you got two heads, you got a bunch of hands. Comes with a guitar, because he's super fucking dope. Co also comes with the Intercontinental Championship belt, which also looks very nice. Uh, so even from the outside, I like this packaging that you can see pretty much most of the figure. It's not super obscured by anything in the packaging. You're not, you're not told any lies um, before you can get this thing open. It's not like these things are sitting on shelves at Target or some shit. These are these are things that you got to order online that you have to seek out. And uh, let's take a look at the back side here. We have a uh, an older picture of Tanahashi, as it looks like uh, Hiroshi Tanahashi, uh, five foot ten inches, two hundred twenty two pounds from Gifu, Japan. His finisher, the High Fly Flow, and uh, got his Twitter handle there too. I uh, hope you can read Japanese, folks. Because I believe that's what it is. <laughs> so, uh, but very cool packaging. Again, same thing um, with the the gloss logos on the matte background. Um, pops really nice. These are great. But if you were just going to display them in the package, they look great. So um, let's move on. Okay, and finally, it is uh, Kazuchika Okada or Kazuchika Okada or. However you want to say it. If you ask him, he says uh, Kazuchika Okada. Um, he's got his big entrance jacket on. I don't know whether or not this Okada's got the pants or the shorts, um, but we'll find out when we open him up. It, it looks like he's got his full-on entrance gear, the big chain, the big jacket, um, and it looks like he might have the IWGP uh, heavyweight Championship belt on underneath as well. Um, we have two different heads for Okada. Um, we have uh, this one and this one. They do look kind of similar, um, but now it, on, upon closer inspection, they are a little different. One gripe would have been nice if they were a little bit more um, 
I don't know, detailed? Uh, not detailed, but a little bit more uh, like a different expression. Maybe an open mouth type of thing with some teeth. Where he's like, ah! Um, but anyway, uh, that's a small gripe. Uh, he does have his uh, his money because he's the he's the rainmaker, and uh, and and we'll see that later on as we open everything up, all his accessories. Um, I can't wait to get this thing open. Um, but before we do that, let's take a look around the backside here, and we have the the photo of Okada, his name in Japanese, and his height six foot three, weight two hundred and thirty four pounds from Aichi, Japan. His finisher, the rainmaker. And uh, his Twitter handle, Rainmaker X Okada, right there. So if you want to follow uh, Okada there on uh, <laughs> on <laughs> on Twitter, you can. A uh, fun fact about Okada: um, uh, he went to In and Out uh, in Long Beach, and it was the the same In and Out that, that I like to go to when I lived in Long Beach. So and, and he was a big fan. I'm also a big fan of In and Out. So Okada is fucking good in my book. I mean, I liked him before that, but still. Even even better, knowing now that he's a he's a fan of the In and Out. Um, so let's take a look at what these figures look like on the inside. All right, so here he is, the Stone Pitbull, Tomohiro Ishii, um, with his uh, never open weight uh, championship belt. Um, very cool. We can take a look at the belt first here. Um, it's got a very soft um, sort of rubber material for the belt part um it's it's almost like a leather it almost feels like leather even though it is you know obviously it's plastic rubber or whatever and then the uh the plates are a hard plastic um and they and they kind of shine like gold um nice detail on that it's very very fucking cool um and then he also comes with this steel chair um so he can bash motherfuckers or or you know fucking uh, take a break um, and so here he is. Um, he comes with this little t-shirt. It's actually easy to get on and off um, because it is a softer material, a soft light material. So it doesn't get all twisted up in the arms when you go to take it off. Anybody that's tried to do that with an action figure before um, knows what I'm talking about. Um, and let's take a look at the figure. Very awesome high detail here. He has this elbow pad that you can take on and off. It actually makes it easier to get the shirt on and off. Um, and then on his uh, tights, he has the, the, the pit bull design here on the side. Um, he has his weight belt that is sculpted onto um, his body as well. Very fucking cool. Nice detail. Nice detail on everything here. Um, we'll put a uh, whole pegs. So it'd be nice if we had some things for them to stand on. Maybe a stand that they could come with. That would be fucking cool. Um, if we could get stands with these things. I would take stands. There's a gripe. I want stands. Um, for like the $50 or $45 and change that you spent on these goddamn things, it would be nice to get a stand with them. Um, but other than that, they stand up pretty good uh, by themselves. The, the head sculpt, let's take a look at the head sculpt. Very, very nice looking. Looks so much like who it's supposed to be. Um, I, don't, I don't know how they went about doing this. If they had, uh, you, you know, an artist work with the, um, maybe a photograph or... Um, look at this. He's got like the shaved head, so they have like the color of his of his uh, hair kind of growing back in. Very, very cool. And it's not just one solid color either. It's it's you know it, it looks like someone's hair. Like someone's hair would fucking grow in. It doesn't grow in necessarily super evenly all in one color. Um, very fucking high detail. Awesome, awesome look. Um, he does come with an extra head. Um, and let's get to that because. Um, Cause what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Why is he fucking taking a nap? Like what the fuck? It like. All right. So um, as far as fucking useless accessories go, there's this head. Um, if you wanna uh, have passed out Ishii, um, we can do that. I guess. Um, that's that's what this is. <laughs> He's taking a little. You no, know, he just needs a little, some rest. He, he does. Every once in a while, fucking Ishii uh, needs to rest up uh, to get back in the ring and, and, and whoop ass. Um, but other than that, fucking very awesome posability, nice points of articulation. The accessories don't seem to hinder the, the flexibility too much. They come with six pairs of hands apiece. They're all the same hands that come with everybody. Um, they have 
uh, fist hands and holy hands and pointy hands and chopping hands and splayed hands. Um, so any sort of situation that you come up with as far as poses are concerned, um, you can get these guys into um, with, the, with the hands that are really, really fucking nice. Uh, really nice detail. Um, here's another thing uh, they got on the AEW figures, or at least the first series. Look at that! They've painted the fucking ball joints. Um, so we don't have his dick showing. So that's fucking pretty cool. Uh, fucking Ishii, a fucking great figure. Moving on. All right, so here is Will Ospreay out of the box. Um, he has his entrance gear. It's more like a vest. Still very nice, easy to take on and off. Has the little hood um, that you can put up and down on him as well. Um, very, very cool. A nice looking sculpt, um, very cool detail on the costume. We have the, the Union Jack on the, the knee pads, which are separate, um, but don't hinder the posability at all. Um, they all have the you know a lot of ankle motion there. They have, they're all on ball joints. Um, again, uh, you can't see his balls. So, so awesome, awesome, awesome on that as well. Um, and then let's go ahead and take this off and uh, take a look and see what he looks like underneath his entrance gear um it's super easy to get off and then there he is um i think um it, they did a pretty good job um we do have slight staining on the chest there uh, but not you know not egregious really um for posability um very very good you can pose him in that jacket out of that jacket um he does lots of different stuff again six pairs of hands these things come with um, they all come with the same kind of hands. They have, I got the grabbing hands on him right now so he can hold his accessories. So let's take a look at what he comes with. He comes with the best of the Super Juniors trophy and uh, doesn't stand up on its own. Um, it's, you know, unfortunately it's based on the actual trophy. Looks pretty much just like it. Um, it's too bad they couldn't figure out a way to put a weight on the bottom there so you could stand it up on its own. Um, maybe a little little stick them or whatever on the bottom and you'll get it to sit on your shelf if you want to display it like that. Um, most of these motherfuckers are just going to try to display these things in the box anyway, so it doesn't necessarily matter. To me, it matters a little bit. And again, here we go. Um, if you're sensing a pattern here. They didn't necessarily pick the most popular guys. Um, even though a lot of these guys are popular, they picked all the singles uh, champions uh, for the, the four uh, figures they came out with. Only missing one singles champion in uh, in that league there in New Japan. That would be the uh, United States champion. At the time was either Juice Robinson or John Moxley. Either way, um, we got four uh, title belts with these figures is what I'm sensing here. And uh, this one is the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship. Again, great detail. Uh, just like on the never open weight belt, um, we've got the soft rubber and the hard plastic plates. Um, one problem, one fucking gripe with this, once you take it off, fucking good luck getting it back on because you got these little pegs on the back here um, that are supposed to go through these little holes. Um, and it's trying to like, it's trying to fucking like have intercourse with a flaccid penis because you can't fucking get them through because they're so soft it's a very soft uh, plastic so it makes you know to it looks like a, a leather belt but the, the problem is maybe these could have been a harder plastic so we could have got it through the holes a little bit better so that you can um you know you can attach it a little easier i sat here and tried to fool with it for a fucking five minutes and couldn't get the goddamn thing back on there um so you know what it's just staying open Another accessory he comes with is this head. Um, a more determined look on Will Ospreay's face. Uh, very, very cool. Another thing I like about these, um, and you'll see on this head, um, I'll, I'll kind of go in here. Um, let me get you a better camera angle here. Um, if you can kind of see it, I'll move it around a little bit. It's got a little bit, they put a little gloss paint in there as well to make his hair seem a little wet. Um, which is awesome. It's a nice little detail. The paint jobs on these figures have been really, really great so far. Um, and finally, here's the, the last uh, accessory that Will Ospreay comes with. It's his sword, which he, uh, he has in his entrance. So it's kind of cool. Um, something, a nice little detail to have there uh, with the figure. And all in all, another, another great figure. 
All right, and here he is. It's the ace, Tanahashi. Um, right here in all of his uh, his glory. He's got a great, great looking sculpt um, with the, the hair. He's got the blonde uh, highlights there, uh, the streaks in his hair, just like he does in real life. Um, good old Tanahashi. He does come um, with his awesome entrance gear. Look at the detail on this thing. This one's made out of a pleather material. I love how on these figures that there's things that are matte and there's things that are gloss. Uh, the boots are a high gloss, as if you, as you would expect, the patent, the patent leather, um, just like the uh, the pro wrestling boots that you would imagine it would look like. Um, painted all the way through, no no balls showing on these. Um, I'll say that again, Jazz wears, and uh, and like look at this. I mean, just look at the the sculpt on his face. He looks great. His little goatee, um, it's it's colored just perfectly. Uh, it, you know, just as it's just growing in. Um, they don't make it look all like super even, like it's just one color. They make it look realistic, and that's really nice. I love the little details. The, the ace on the uh, on the armband there. Ace on his on his pants there. Um, very very cool. He comes with another head sculpt. Um, it's a uh, smiling Tanahashi. <laughs> Look how happy now. I don't really don't like this one. He looks kind of silly with the big smile on his face. Not that Tanahashi isn't one to one to be uh, you know super happy and go lucky. Um, I just don't uh, necessarily need a guy that's like got a big grin. Um, you know, uh, maybe you prefer something like a ah, like a, you know a, a determined look or whatever. Because even the, the even the standard face that he comes with has a little grin on it. Um, so, you know, smiling Tanahashi. There he is. He's the ace. Um, <laughs> he also comes with the uh, the Intercontinental Championship here. Again, made out of that soft leather. Once you get this thing uh, opened up, good luck getting it back on him or getting it back attached. So, um, you know, I, 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 I took it off so I could get a good look at the figure. And, uh, you know, foolishly, it's going to be a pain in the ass getting these things back on. And, and you know, we'll have to Wait till later to do that, but um, still very nice detail on the belt. Very, very cool. Looks just like it does in real life. It's the IWGP Intercontinental title. Um, very, very cool looking. Got the hard plastic plates and the soft rubber. This one is in white. I think it's the, the same black, just painted white, but very, very nice. And then he also comes with this. He comes with a guitar. Now, I've seen Tanahashi play the air guitar. But I've never, you know what, maybe, maybe I don't watch New Japan all the time. But I've never seen Tanahashi play a real guitar, uh, much less the uh, the Flying V, um, as he comes with here. Still kind of cool, neat little accessory for him to come with. Maybe he could El Kabong somebody with the goddamn thing if he needs to. But all in all, very, very cool figure. This uh, uh, entrance gear comes on and off pretty easily, um, even though it is kind of stiff because it's made out of that thick pleather material. Um, it does come off pretty easily. A um, nice little detail on this. He's got the fuzzy, uh, the, the the black wing that he has on the back here that he has had on his entrance gear ever since he beat Kenny Omega for the IWGP uh, heavyweight title. Um, so, yeah, pretty cool detail on this. They really did pay attention, uh, Super 7 did, to uh, to what you know, what the fans would want, um, what you, you'd think you might want to see in a figure like this. It's high detail. It's high quality. It's very fucking cool. And finally, it's the Rainmaker. Kazuchika or Kazuchika Okada. Um, look at the detail on this figure. I know I keep saying it. I sound like a broken fucking record, but goddamn, um, these figures are great. I am super stoked about these figures. Just great high detail. His entrance gear is, um, I don't know what, like how to explain it. It's almost like a raincoat, um, strangely enough, ironically, Rainmaker, raincoat. Uh -huh. Anyway, um, you've got all the, like the sort of detail you would expect on it. It's very cool looking. He's got his big gold chains. Um, the, the, you go around the back here. 
Um, you have the, just like in real life, just like it looks in real life, great, great detail. This is an awesome looking figure right out of the box. Um, got detail on the uh, the KORM on his uh, on his knee pads and the Rainmaker on the other knee pad. You got his little shorts on, so it's shorts Okada, not pants Okada. Thankfully, I, I don't know, I'm a big fan of pants Okada. But anyway, um, the the there's stitching, there's molded like little stitching on the boots. I don't know if you can see this or if it's coming off on camera. He's got stitching on the boots, the you know, and of course we've got the the uh, the good old uh, 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 the, the shoelaces are all on there. They're nice and painted, just like they are, um, just like red, just like they are in real life. Um, and if we can take off the uh, the entrance gear here, we'll take a look at uh, what he looks like. It, it comes off pretty easily. It should slide right off the back, off of his shoulders. All right. So what you want to do is you want to take off the hands before you uh, take off the gear um, makes it a little easier and the hands just pop right back on and again he comes with six pairs of hands just like everybody else want to be careful with these guys with the coats because obviously you can't see their joints uh, when trying to trying to bend their joints um, you might end up breaking an arm or something like that if you don't um, take if you don't know of where it's going to be bent first. So you might want to put a little bit of a bend in it before you put the, the sleeves back on it or uh, make sure you know which direction everything is facing before you do. Um, so there you go. He got his hands back on here. Um, still great looking sculpt. I like the way they did the sort of paint effects on here for the darker areas of the skin. He's not just one color. Same thing with the hair. There's highlights, low lights. Um, this, is his, this is the alternate head. Um, this was the wasn't the head that he came with. Um, this is the uh, this is the head that he he was packaged in. Um, I mean, they're they're not necessarily so different. My wife took a look at this when I, when I got it, and she's like, "Did he come with two of the same head?" Um, they're not two of the same head. They are slightly different. He has more pursed lips in this one, and um, and he, he seems more angry in this one. I don't know. They're, they're really. I, it would have been nice to get like a, ah or a, like a, a, a mean face or or maybe even a smile like Tanahashi um, for a little bit of difference. If you were gonna give him an extra head, it'd be nice to make a, a little bit of difference. But um, again, this is his gold chain. Also, he comes with the IWGP Heavyweight Title. Again, um, you know, at your own risk, take these things off because they're very difficult to get back on. Uh, it's not broken. It's just very difficult to reattach to the body um, once once you do take it off. But again, very, very cool for display. Very good for posability. And, and they don't feel they don't feel like cheap or anything like that. You can you can bang the shit out of these things. They don't feel like they're not going to break or anything like that. These are high quality figures. Also, he comes with some money because he is the rainmaker and he makes rain fall from the fucking sky. Nice little things they came with. I think Super 7 did a great job on these figures. So at the end of the day, uh, are they worth it? The uh, Super 7 New Japan Pro Wrestling Ultimates. Um, to me personally, yes. Yes, these are worth it. These are great looking figures with great sculpts, great detail, great accessories. Very little issues as far as, you know, the thing with the fucking belts that you can't get them back on. It's, it's, or at least it's a little difficult to do so. Beyond that, these are fucking fantastic figures. And if you are a fan of New Japan Pro Wrestling or uh, Pro Wrestling action figures, um, these are a must get, at least to me, they are a must get. Um, they're they're not necessarily overpriced when it comes to detail when it comes to accessories when it comes to everything that they come with as far as value is concerned these things are a home run they are awesome they are a lot of fun um, I look forward to getting more of these as they come out with the next series which features Los Ingobernables um, and I'll be looking forward to getting those and whoever they make in the future um, a Super 7 excellent job